Daedalus Astronautics is a student group here at ASU and we focus on everything related to rockets. So that's from everything from building rockets to doing research on related rockets, even to doing outreach with kids doing small little uh, Estes rockets. Uh, it's just a great club. We're all really, really passionate about space, space exploration, um, technology, engineering. Um, it's just a great place that we can all come and have a lot of fun building rockets and getting some experience for the workforce. For the LDRS competition, we were given the unique opportunity to really push ourselves in the design of our rockets. The traditional model of our rockets are simple, reliable, and reusable machines so that we can really go to competition and put on a good show for people. But for this competition, we really wanted to push ourselves and give ourselves the opportunity to determine what our limits were as a group. So we got together and decided that we would make a rocket to go as fast as possible using materials we have never ever used before. And as such, we really push the boundaries of what we've known and what we've been able to apply. After achieving our Mach 2 flight, we sat down and decided to further refine our rocket building techniques as well as our propellant techniques. On the horizon for us, we're going to be going into future developments such as new nozzle technologies that we're testing for Raytheon, as well as composite motor casings and advanced multi-stage rockets. Our next steps here at Daedalus are to work along the path to be uh, one of the first student groups to send a rocket up into the space. Uh, so literally sending a rocket up into the definition of space so you can see the curvature of the earth and everything. Uh, we've done some rockets, our highest rocket so far was about uh, 12,000 feet, uh, so we have a lot of room to go. Um, space is about 300,000 feet, uh, so we've got a lot of work to do, but that's where we're heading, um, and we should make, be making some uh, big steps forward in the next uh, couple months. For years, uh, myself and members in Daedalus have been designing and building rockets, um, whether they have solid rocket motors or hybrid rocket motors, um, all different sorts um, that are used inside them to actually launch the rockets up to whatever altitude we're designing it for. Um, but in the past few years, we've been trying to put a little bit more of science and the research aspect behind it. And I actually had the opportunity to work with one of the previous project managers of Daedalus, and he was actually an associate faculty member here at ASU. And in that opportunity, I was able to actually design and build my own uh, small hybrid rocket motor and a whole bunch of parts that go in it and characterize the effects of um, but changing just one small component in it um, so that we can better understand the larger motors when we actually go and build those and put them in our rockets when we go to launch them. I know as a, a child growing up, I used to fly back and, back and forth across the country, you know, five, six times. And at the time, as a child, you tend to think, you know, looking outside the window of an aircraft, you can see the air rolling over the wing but you don't really understand the science and the math behind it. You just kind of think it's magic or something. But as I got older and got into you know, high school and here at ASU and actually took some of the courses and learned the aerodynamics and you know, the, the science and math behind it, I found out that you know, this is actually something that I could do. It doesn't take some amazing genius. It's something that you know, any person off the street that actually is dedicated and really loves it could go out and do it.